You want to install our craft in 2025? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm going to teach you the easiest and fastest way to install our craft without any issues. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to install our craft is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. CurseForge is a launcher that is going to allow us to install our craft as well as any other mod pack that we want to play. But in this instance, it's going to be our craft. This is extremely easy and simple to do. Again, click on that second link. You don't have to read through this. You can just scroll down if you want to follow along and click where it says step one and then click on this CurseForge button in here. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to select our operating system before we install CurseForge. You could scroll down and select Linux, Mac or Windows. But in this video specifically, I'm going to download the Windows option. And if you're also using Windows, just click download a standalone and then the download will begin right away for the installer of CurseForge. Now, what we wait for CurseForge to download if you need a Minecraft server or if you want to play our craft with friends, use the first link in the description and create your server with Apex Hosting. They actually support over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button using that first link in the description. You can set up all of that in less than five minutes and they will actually give you 25% off if you use that first link. They also have servers all around the world so your friends or you can't complain about lagging. And thank you Epic Hosting for sponsoring this video. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now we see that CurseForge already downloaded the installer and what we're going to do next is drag and drop it into our desktop. This is super easy. Just drag and drop it here from your recent download history where you might be able to find this file in your downloads folder in your PC. Now for the next step, you want to make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And to start playing our craft, Let's go ahead and install CurseForge. All you have to do is double click on it. The installer will open. You might get a little prompt asking you if you want to allow this app to run. If you do, just allow it to run. And then you'll get this menu in here where we're just going to hit next. And then we're going to click accept. If you don't know what this is, click on terms of use and then click next one more time. And now just wait for CurseForge to install. Again, this is a great Minecraft launcher that is going to allow you to not only play our craft, but hundreds, if not thousands, of mod packs with Minecraft. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish installing. And there we go. After a couple seconds only, CurseForge is finally installed. It's going to open automatically. If it doesn't, you'll find the shortcut here on your desktop and you can go ahead and launch it. Now, if this is the first time you're launching CurseForge, you're going to get a little prompt in here asking you if you want to run a little tutorial. You could just skip that tutorial and follow my steps in here to get the R craft mod pack in Minecraft. So once you skip that tutorial, you'll be presented with this screen in here where we're obviously going to select Minecraft. And once you click on Minecraft, you're not going to see any mod pack in here. You're going to head over to the browse category. And this is actually what you're going to see here. And in here, we're going to look for our craft. Now you gotta scroll down until you find it. It usually is here on the recent or like most popular mod packs. But you could also just search for it here on the top by typing our craft in here and hitting enter. And you'll see our craft right here by Shibaxi. I can't I can never say his name, but you will see it right here. And all you have to do now, guys, is hit install right here. It's the one that has the most million downloads. Just hit install and wait for our craft to install. Now, keep in mind that anytime you want to play our craft, you're going to be opening their CurseForge launcher. So you're not going to just open your regular Minecraft launcher and see our craft in there. You're going to open the CurseForge launcher and you will see our craft in here. And you'll actually see it here in my mod packs section. So whenever you open CurseForge, just head over to my mod packs and you will see our craft in here. Now let's go ahead and wait for it to finish installing because we're not done yet with this tutorial. We actually need to do a couple more steps before being able to access the our craft mod pack. And there we go. After a couple of minutes, we got our craft installed and we're going to go ahead and hit play in here. And once you click play on a mod pack using Kurtz Forge, you will see a Minecraft launcher up here and yours is probably going to have you log in, guys. And the reason that is having you log in, this is actual official Minecraft launcher is just having you log in because this is a separate instance from the Minecraft launcher that you regularly use. So all you have to do is use your account where you own Minecraft, log in, and then you're logging into the regular Minecraft launcher, just a different instance open through CurseForge. So we're able to play our mod pack. I hope I didn't get you lost in there. And once you're here in the Minecraft launcher, by the way, you only have to log in once. You will see your mod pack selected here automatically. You could actually head over to installations if you need to and edit the settings of your mod pack in here to be able to change the RAM amount in here. We have articles on our website on how to do this, but this is actually pretty straightforward. Just change this number until the, until the amount of RAM that you want, right? So right now I have 4,000 megabytes. That's four gigabytes of RAM if you want on eight gigabytes, just put 8,000 and just so on and so on, right? Anyways, now to be able to play our craft, all we have to do is hit play in here. You might get this prompt in here. You could read more about player safety features if you want. If you understand the risk, then hit you understand the risk and hit play one more time and your mod pack will open. Again, every time you want to play our craft or any other mod pack that you install through CurseForge, you're going to have to open CurseForge first. Now, if you guys watch the video until this point and you want to learn how to install 
our craft without the curse force launcher which means installing it manually let me know down in the comments and if enough people want to know how to do that we'll probably make a video on how to install it manually i'm telling you already it's way harder it's way more complicated and it could cause more issues as you might have to update the mod pack manually and stuff like that but you won't need the curse force launcher right so that's the pro of installing it manually let me know down in the comments if that's something you would like to know but as of right now that's it guys we're, we're able to install the our craft mod pack as you can see it's loading in here and you're now ready to play our craft if you want to play our craft with friends don't forget to use the first link in the description to create that our craft server and have your friends join you in no time thank you for watching and as always bye bye